This is another video in the Where Do We Live series, and here we focus on our planet. We humans are biased, biased in a lot of things, but especially in how we think of the planet. We named our planet Earth as if it was a planet where land predominates. But of course, that's our bias. We are land-based mammals. But if you look at the Earth from space, you quickly see that the Earth is mostly ocean. In fact, the global ocean covers 71% of the Earth's surface. We divide this global ocean into five large ocean basins and give them names as if they were separate oceans. Once, a long time well before we came on the scene, it was more obvious that there was only one global ocean. Back in the Permian period, there was only one continent, and it was surrounded by the one obvious global ocean. But the continents drifted apart over millions of years, and we came along and named the planet Earth. And in so doing, we created a perfect storm of forgetfulness. We forget that the ocean gives life to our planet. Approximately 50 to 80% of the oxygen on Earth is produced by the ocean, mainly from photosynthesis by microscopic algae called phytoplankton. Of course, most of the oxygen is also consumed in the ocean. Yep, there are animals and other heterotrophs in the seas, many of which we harvest or perhaps we mine for food. But we need to understand that every single nasty thing that we make ends up in the ocean. This is because of the water cycle, of course, where rain washes everything into rivers, and then the rivers run into the sea. South African rivers are a particular toxic, nasty brew, and the sea is not so far away. It's really high time that we got a little more serious about protecting the global ocean. We are killing it. There's no doubt about that. The thing that dominates our planet and gives us life is being killed by us. At some point, its dying throes will kill us, all of us. It doesn't have to be that bad, though. I've spent half my life studying marine life. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to talk some more about the oceans and show you some of the marine life that I've seen in diving in every single one of the world's so-called oceans, which, of course, is all part of the global ocean, the one global ocean.